Welcome to our lecture online. So why do we need a microscope? It turns out that the human vision is actually quite remarkable. We're able to see very tiny things. And let me explain a little bit about why that is. So it turns out that we can bring objects relatively close to our eyes. We can bring it down to what we call the near point, which is the nearest point at which we can see things clearly. And that depends upon how well we can adjust the lenses in our eye. They, they are adjustable. They can be narrowed or they can be made more round. If we want to sing, see things more closely, clearly close, we want to round out our, our lenses. As we get older, like myself, the lens doesn't uh, do that so well anymore and so I can't bring things too closely. I need to start bringing things farther away in order to see them clearly. So that's why I use reading glasses to be able to see clearly nearby. But let's assume that we have a young person here that can clearly see things at 25 centimeters. Matter of fact, uh, children can typically see things even closer clearly than that, but 25 centimeters is the norm that we use for these kind of calculations. And so we bring something like a small one-celled uh, organism to within 25 centimeters of our eyeballs. So then we have what we call an angle of resolution. If we take the top portion and the bottom portion of the object we want to look at, and we draw lines to our eye, we can see that subtends an angle that's called the angle theta. And that's called the angle of resolution. Now, the, the better our eyes are, the smaller that angle can become and we can see, still see the thing clearly. So obviously we're trying to get the smallest possible angle of resolution to see clearly. And we can calculate what that angle is using this equation right here. Now notice that for very small angles, typically when we're dealing with this, we can see that there's really not a lot of difference between the sine of the angle, the tangent of the angle, or the angle expressed in radians. And if it gets down to one degree, you can see there's virtually no difference between them. So instead of writing the sine of theta, we can simply write theta equals 1.22 times the wavelength of the light that we used to see with. We don't have a lot of choice there because we have to use visible light to see. And we divide that by the diameter of the optics. Now in this case, the optic is our eye and it's the opening in our eye that is, opens up to about four millimeters when, there's, uh, when it's uh, not too bright out. And so if we use those numbers, we can see that we can then calculate the angle of resolution, which is about one one hundred of a degree. That's the smallest object we can see when placed 25 centimeters away. If we then calculate the height of that, we take the height 25, well, we take the distance 25 centimeters times the sine of the angle, and we get a size of about 50 micrometers, 50 times 10 to the minus six meters. That's one twentieth of a millimeter. Wow, we can see things that small. Now notice, if we take a look at the size of a bacteria, well, they're too small to be able to be seen with the naked eye because the size is much smaller than what we can typically see with the naked eye. However, an animal cell or a plant cell falls kind of within that realm of what we're able to see, but then of course we can just see it as a dot rather than any detail about it. So if we want to be able to see bacteria or even viruses which are smaller than bacteria, or cells and the structure of cells, we need something that allows us to see even smaller than that. And so our eye cannot do that, therefore we need a microscope to be able to zero in to things that are even smaller than that. Now what is quite remarkable, the human hair diameter is about 50 to 150 micrometers, which, allows, which means that we're able to see a single strand of hair on the floor, for example, or nearby, because our eyes are capable of seeing things that tiny. You know, we can see very far away and we see everything, but we can channel down to just, focus down to just a tiny little thing like the width of a hair, and we can still see that. So the human vision is actually quite remarkable in its structure and its capability of seeing very tiny things, but not good enough to see things such as bacteria or cell structures, and for that, we do need a microscope. And so we're going to show you later on in the videos to come how microscopes work and why we're able to see much smaller things using microscopes. And that is how it's done.